And some people says, you know, it's 666. But according to Revelation 13 verse 18, actually 666 help you to find the beast. What I mean is to identify the beast. But the Bible says the mark. The reason why I repeat and I kind of stretch it because I don't want you to miss it. It's a deception. Notice the mark of the beast. It's clear. It means the power, the beast, has a mark. Constant to change the Sabbath from Saturday to Sunday. But unfortunately, Sunday churches, they adopt sun worship day for so many years. They don't want to get rid of it. But actually, it's a pagan sun worship day day sunday worship look even the spellings you'll find out matter of fact if you look your calendar sunday is always begin as the first day of the week unfortunately they will skip and some people they don't know they will count monday as the first day of the week because according to revelation chapter 12 verse 9 the devil will deceive the whole world so it's a deception so a lot of people the devil you know he's in the process blinding the people including the christian though Friends, if you go to church Sunday, notice the first day church, now you don't have the mark of the beast according to Revelation 14 and 13 unless the law is an enforce. That's why now you hear different country, they try to force in the people to now sell or do anything on Sunday because they try to enforce the law. But according to Bible, notice, United States is the one who's going to cause the whole world to worship. The beast, they are sun worship day, means Sunday worship, according to Revelation 13. So whenever United States enforce the law, then every country also going to enforce because they control the whole world. Every president on the Roman Catholic Church. Friends, Saturday is always the Sabbath, the seventh day of the week. Notice, and again, it's always Saturday. And that's why the Bible says the seventh day is the Sabbath. Jewish nation, even though I'm not Jewish, they still keep the Sabbath Saturday. And also, Encyclopedia. You will find it even different language. If you speak Spanish, Sabado means Saturday. You can also find in the Bible, according to Genesis chapter 2, verse 2 to 3, you're going to find that God created heaven and the earth six days, and the seventh day he rested. And that seventh day, it's Saturday. And then Jesus Christ, remember, when Adam and Eve they sinned, Jesus Christ came to redeem our soul and he finished his work six days, Friday afternoon. Remember, that's why they call it Easter Friday or Good Friday. It says it is finished Friday and then he rested Saturday, just like he rested Genesis chapter 2 verses 1 to 3. And Sunday, the early day in the morning, you will find in the book of Luke chapter 24 verses 1 to 3. You will also find in Luke chapter 23 verses 50 to 56. The seventh day is always Saturday until Constantine 321. He changed it from Saturday to his own pagan son, creation, worship day. The devil behind the scene. You are about to see the power. God is going to fill up with his outpouring. Just like he did it for the first century. The apostle church. And then we're going to go forward and preach the loud cry. The third angel's message. We're going to protest against their pagan son worship day. Means their son day worship. And then Jesus Christ will come. Just like Bible says. If the day is not short. No flesh will be saved. But for the elect's sake. Means those who take a stand. The day will be shortened. Friends. This is a beautiful time in history. Because we only one step away from heaven. The mark of the beast. The worship issue in Revelation chapter 13. If you get time read it. Because Revelation chapter 13 verse 12. It's a worship issue. And verse 15. It's a worship issue issue and verse 8 is a worship issue and the Bible help us to understand that behind the scene Revelation 13 is the devil he wants the whole world to worship him friends you have to escape you have to study your Bible Christ is calling you whether you are Christian or not whenever you hear Sunday worship in any countries do not accept it God is going to protect you Bible says our bread and water will be sure when a Catholic Jesuit 
learn Sunday churches, their doctrine, and the Vatican II, when they infiltrate their churches, and they draw all their churches to so-called the mother of the church, because they know their doctrine, and they can answer questions and preach. So the members of the Sunday churches, they think all the pastors are faithful pastors, so now it's all about my pastor says, my pastor says, my pastor says. And this is the crying that a lot of times you hear from them. Instead of them to study, to show thyself approved, just like Bible says, they're making the flesh their right arm. And some of them, when they learn the Sabbath truth, that is always Saturday, because their pastors has been hematized them for so many years. So when they go and they talk to their pastors, Instead of them to talk to God and make decision based on that says the Lord, they make their pastors make decision for them because that's how bad they hematize them. Something that was not possible during the last papacy, largely because of John Paul's role in the fall of communism in Poland. The Chinese obviously didn't want John Paul II running around China doing the same thing. Uh, Pope Benedict is, is not that kind of a threat to China. Most of the time in places around the world, Vatican diplomats work outside the spotlight, where experts say they often have an advantage. Some question how much government leaders of today truly listen to what the Pope has to say. And that, observers say, is a moral authority that can't be measured by economic strength or military divisions. A moral authority Benedict hopes to draw upon when meeting with U.S. officials and speaking before the United Nations. Friends, don't let the devil use hypnosis preachers, whether as the pastor or whoever they are, to tell you that you're not going to be holy. You're going to sin until Jesus Christ come. That's doctrines of the devils. When God says, be you holy because I'm a holy when Jesus Christ sets you free, Bible says, ye shall be free indeed. If you think that God is bigger than the devil, then you're going to be holy by the grace of God. But if you think that you're the devil, notice your devil is bigger than God, then the devil is going to make sure that he keep you in darkness. He will keep you to sin until Jesus Christ come and then you're going to be doomed. God, his creation power. Genesis, when God said, let there be light. And there was light. So when God said, be, means his creation power. You can be holy by the grace of God. This is the old gospel. And now the devil's using, a, you know, hypnosis pastors. You know, all they want is, you know, money, riding Mercedes and all kinds of expensive vehicles. They fail to be a Bible Christian. Christ is calling a humble instrument. It's time to take a stand. Forget yourself. Don't look for what's in it for you. It's time to look for what's in it for God. That's how apostles and disciples, they live. In the first century, Jesus Christ is coming for the remnant church, means left over. Our character, our life star is going to be like the first century, the church that Jesus Christ set up. Christ is coming, believe that you're going to be holy, he's going to help you. It depends how you program yourself. If you are watching a Jesuit, Hollywood, worldly program so called television program then the devil's going to use those pagans or infidels to preach you and you're going to be in darkness until Jesus Christ comes no one needs say that his case is hopeless that he can't live the life of a Christian ample provision is made by the death of Christ for every soul Jesus is our ever present help in time of need only call upon him in faith and he has promised to hear and answer your petitions it is now that we must keep our ourselves and our children unspotted from the world. It is now that we must wash our robes of character and make them white in the blood of the Lamb. It is now that we must overcome pride, passion, and spiritual slothfulness. It is now that we must awake and make determined effort for symmetry of character. We are in a most trying position, waiting, watching for our Lord's appearing. The world is in darkness. But ye brethren, says Paul, are not in darkness that that day should overtake you. What are you doing, brethren, in the great work of 
of preparation. Those who are uniting with the world are receiving the worldly mold and preparing for the mark of the beast. Those who are distrustful of self, who are humbling themselves before God and purifying their souls by obeying the truth, these are receiving the heavenly mold and preparing for the seal of God in their forage. Now is the time to prepare. The seal of God will never be placed upon the forehead of an impure man or woman. It will never be placed upon the forehead of the ambitious world-loving man or woman. It will never be placed upon the forehead of men or women of false tongues or deceitful hearts. All who receive the seal must be without spot before God, candidates for heaven. Search the scriptures for yourselves that you may understand the fearful solemnity of the present hour. Order the great controversy. Notice the book, The Great Controversy, because it's preparation. It will prepare you by the grace of God. Friends, whenever they enforce their son worship, they Sunday worship. Whenever the law is in force in your country, do not accept it. The mark of the beast in their forehead, symbolic in Revelation, your forehead means your decision. And also when Revelation says their right hand means your action.